when I was over in Vietnam, I was over there in uh, 70 and 71. Then, then when I came home, you know, I, I, I knew it wasn't the same because before I went over there, I was happy-go-lucky, laugh, and then everything like that. When I came, when I came home, even to this day, I don't smile. I didn't talk about Vietnam, yeah. and and I, I thought that I would spare people because you know Vietnam was not a nice place. When I came home, I know that I've been uh, you know, I started drinking more, and uh, also that. Uh, I, I couldn't really hold on to a job. I couldn't have a successful uh, relationship with a with a person. I would maybe be with them for about a year or something like that and break up, year break up. And, and my jobs, I couldn't have anyone like bossing me around. When I did go to restaurants, I had to have my back up against the wall looking so I'd be able to look at everything. I, I just keep thinking every somebody is after me. And I figured there was something wrong. I kept... I had a short temper. I kept yelling for, you know, no no good reason. And so I, I went to the VA, and, and what they did is they said, well, do you have PTSD? And I said, you know, I don't even know what PTSD is, so I don't know. And they uh, get you familiar with what PTSD really is and how it's going to affect you and why it affects you. And it was it was pretty nice to know that there's a reason for what I was doing. So I would definitely recommend any veteran go and try to get help. It is very much better knowing the reasons why you're like you, like you are and, and also uh, to be able to uh, work things out.